coming from? And I, and I had an idea of where I was going to. I knew those guys would not be able to fit in. Mm. Because you don't just marry anybody. You are marrying for fitness. Mm. And it's not tall, dark, and handsome. Yes, my husband is tall, dark, and handsome. I bless God for him. But beyond his appearance, he was fit for my destiny. Mm. I feel like kissing her. <laughs> Amen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Singly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is the house of God. I'm sorry. Amen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Amen. Like I, can't it. I can't hold it. And he can't just say and don't do. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. So don't just marry appearance. Marry spec. Mm. I'm serious. It's important. But what is most important is where you are going to. True. It's very deep. Before I formed you as a fetus in your mother's womb, I knew you. That's before your parents even jam. To give birth to you, he already knew you. And he predestined. How can a God have a conference meeting to create you? Yeah. And, pre and then you live your life anyhow. Mm. Many people have casualized their lifestyle and have ended up becoming casualties in marriage. Many times when we cancel marriage people, we ask questions. We realize that there is a root to this issue. They knew. There is always a root. I saw the sign, but I don't know. I just followed. I ignored. Signs that you casualize get magnified in marriage. True. So many times, you do not know. You have no idea of your capacity. You don't have any idea of how much God values you. Have you ever sat down to think mm. you are complete in him? God. Have you sat down to think he formed you in his own image and likeness? That is, he looked at himself and said, I need to be, I need to make another me. In his own image and likeness. So when you stand, people should see not just you, not just slim, not just fat, not just hip, hipsless. They should see God. I'm saying this because when my husband looked around and saw different kinds of spec, I wasn't the right spec for him. Mm. But God told him, have you considered my daughter? Amen. Don't just, hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. <laughs> have you considered my daughter? I'm going somewhere. Because why? I was not trying to become hipful mm. for one man. I was trying to be all of me in God. Yeah. And then God interrupted him and said, have you seen my daughter? I wasn't in the sight of men. I wasn't, not, I wasn't qualified to be a pastor's wife. They told him, this one cannot be a pastor's wife. Leave what they have told you. What has God told you? I am. I'm completing it. Some of you are walking according to what people have told you. Not what God has told you. When you walk according to what God has told you, no man will define your standards. True. No man will come and present a blueprint or present what he wants. It's what God wants. Until I see it, I'm mm. not going in. Mm. But how much do you value your destiny? To protect it. No if you have to be rigid, mm. to be rigidly sanctified is good. Stay there. Because this is the will of my father. So I will not be an irresponsible child. You need to have this mindset. So you can choose well and leave the marriage well. Because it doesn't just end in choosing rights. You can choose right. If you don't live with the right, right principles, you have a failed marriage. Sure.